What's going on guys? It's me, Rocky X, coming at you on a new game today, Green Hell. And uh, let me fill you in a little bit uh, as far as what I know about this game. And uh, that's absolutely nothing. <laughs> I know that it's like an Amazonian survival game and it's supposed to be like pretty dadgum realistic. Like uh, it's supposed to be pretty challenging and I'm really looking forward to diving into it because you know, if there's anybody in this whole world that is like an, a magnificent survivalist, <laughs> it's myself. You can tell by how well I pronounce the word. So uh, I'm really looking forward to diving into this. Already it looks amazing. Like, and this is as far as I've gotten. I just think that the graphics right here look really, really awesome. So uh, I was gonna dive into it for the first time with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. You know all the jazz, whatever. Let's just go ahead and click survival and maybe that'll take me into the game. Easy mode seems like my kind of thing, but let's go normal. Uh, empty. Here goes nothing. Day one. And I'm climbing up a thing. Mountain. Okay. I'm here. Hey! I made it! <laughs> Is everything all right? Yeah. You can come up. Um, you do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? Oh. <laughs> I didn't get it at first, but it's because he was yelling. Okay. Hold T to use the walkie-talkie. You can come up. Uh. Hold T. Do I have to click? Oh. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in, in my backpack. I feel like possibly she's lying. I bet you want to nap. Um, what exactly? The gear should already be at the camp. You will know when the time comes. Patience. Very well. You can catch up, yes? The path leads through that canyon. Mm-hmm. I know. Mm-hmm. I want you to get lost and have to survive in the Amazon. Uh, have you tied oh, down the boat? Uh, have you tied down the boat? See. Jake, um, <laughs> I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, um, but I am glad we came back here. Yeah, I feel you. The yeah, place is beautiful. Still. Still. We can't forget what we came here for in the first place. I know. But as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Yabahaka village. Yabahaka. And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good thing I have an anthropologist at hand, Dr. Higgins. <laughs> like how doctor's not capitalized. I don't know why that bugs me. Are we done talking now, or? Yeah? So it looks like I have a health bar and a stamina bar. If this is like every other game, then it's going to walk me through, like, everything I need to know, so... Uh, I can go left up of that way, or I imagine it probably wants me to go in through here. Okay. <laughs> what? What is happening? Do I have like a eye for inventory? Tab, I bet. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We've got, uh, oh, this is kind of cool the way it shows like the backpack and the different compartments and stuff. Compartments. Then we got craft. I can, um, is that a rock? Drag and drop items on the crafting table. Oh, I got a rock for a crafting table. What is this? Oh, bro, this is like surgeon simulator. What if I can use my fingers? No, you can't. You can't use your fingers. Okay. Then what else was there? We've got the notebook, the handy dandy notebook. Don't know exactly. Can't switch to that. Map I don't have. Sleep I don't need, apparently. All right, let's just walk around a little bit. Okay, here's a big stone. So what does expand mean? Okay, you can pick up or harvest. Maybe that means I can harvest from that plant. That's an option or something. Uh, okay, got a big stone. Bro, what if I can like beat a bird over the head with this? I have officially gone in a circle and I'm not five minutes into the game. Hey, I just wanted to check on the boat down there. Looks like everything's okay still. 
doesn't like if I click left click right click anything it doesn't really seem to do anything with this uh, unless does that mean I can what if I could craft something drag and drop item into a crafting table wait hold up what in the world is happening right now like that's really weird so like I can I legit drag and drop this I'm ki that's kind of cool man I'm not gonna lie it's just different and I like different at this point can I put it in my backpack okay no let's just keep going I got distracted by the second big stone now that stone I can just take is there something I can do here like you would think there's got to be a way to uh Gather plant fiber or something, right? You would think. Um, let's go this way. Okay, that's a dead end. Good decision making, Rocky. Already. The game is pretty. You gotta give it that. Like, this is really awesome. I'm I'm really excited to see what all this brings. I wonder if that's a different kind of resource or something. Okay, nothing there. You would think there's gotta be like sticks and stuff, right? Because I mean that's just about every survival game has sticks that you pick up as well. Oh, like a little camp. I wonder if this is our camp. Go ahead and go down there to it. I want to make sure I'm not like missing anything. All right. Call Mia. Oh, there we go. Stick called it. <laughs> Aren't I a genius? I knew there would be sticks in a survival game. I'm getting ready to craft my first thing probably. This is advancing so quickly. All right. Dick, Dick, let's call Mia. Okay, I found the tent. Is everything all right? It's not a five star. <laughs> Spacious interior, luxurious cots, not all that fancy. Oh, and there's a dirt floor. As long as it doesn't leak, I am fine with it. Soul Trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. Perfecto. Perfecto. That was day one. I hiked well, twenty. If this is this everything. is gonna You're be something. If settled in. Every twenty you know feet is a means, day. Don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should. Maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. Cariño. You know, I have to do this. Who am I it's talking to? It's the only to? way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. It'll be all right. Better pick up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic canned beans. <laughs> Use your imagination. I am not convinced that this chick exists. Where is she? Hold shift to run. Where is this lady I was just talking to? All right, whatever. Hold shift to run. Boom! Speed demon. Find a tool for cutting trees. I know. How about a machete? Alright, so we got R to block. Bam! Okay. And then aim. Oh, God. I don't want to throw this. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, you can actually take it. Okay. I see. Perfect. Where did my machete go? Choose a place for a small pot. I mean, okay. I choose. Oh, there's another machete. Dual machetes. Okay, I choose this place for a small fire. Now what? Hold C to open the wheel and select notebook. Oh, this is cool. <gasps> notebook. Uh, now to build a structure, select it by clicking on its image. Perfect. Uh, like, let's maybe not set it right in the middle of the walkway, or maybe I do. Let's set it right here. This looks like a good place. You can sit on the log around it. Sticks and small sticks can either be found Honey, on the ground or chopped off of a tree. I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? Yeah, everything oh, so the she's still on the walkie talkie. Left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet. Uh, huh, but it feels that way. 
I swear earlier it didn't sound like she was on the walkie talkie. Okay, so now it looks like this is kind of like the forest is what this reminds me of how you place like a little image of what you're going to build and then we can just insert the sticks into it. Okay, so I need to find more sticks, but it did say that I can like chop stuff down. I'm so used to playing games with T-Bunny at this point that um, I'm scared to chop trees around base, you know? So I'm going to come out here to the poison ivy. Machete. Okay. I got leaves. Maybe this isn't, uh, oh, okay. I was going to say, maybe this isn't for chopping down. That's a log. Oh, uh, so this is going to be a lot like the forest in the whole crafting system, I think. So, like, basically, I'll come over and just drop this off right here. And it'll stay there. That's really cool. I'm a fan of that. Let's craft our first fire, guys. Big advancements in here. Okay, apparently that stick is too big. Eh. All right, so what I need now is small sticks. How do you find small sticks? Chopping down small trees, maybe? Is that a thing? Oh, this one says small stick. There we go. And then is that what I'm missing here? Okay, here we go. One more. I need one more. There's sticks, and then there's small sticks. Perfect. Oh, I had to get all the small sticks first. Okay. Now, the big sticks I got after I chopped down one of these trees, but I don't remember <laughs> where the tree fell. Another small stick. But there was a bunch of, like, regular size. There we go. Sticks around it. There we go. Oh, God. That's a different kind of stick. We don't want this stick. Can you throw this stick? Oh, that'd be fantastic. Fire time! Well, looks like everything's ready. Mia, can you bring me a lighter? Um, remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment? Ah, <sighs> don't tell me. Yeah, we have no fire. Ah, <sighs> not a single lighter, nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Well, not the best start of the expedition. <laughs> I know what she means. She means I'm gonna have to spit fire at this. Oh, some of them are doing a human. What I gotta do to get it through the almost superhuman innovative animator rubs? That didn't work at all. Guess I'm gonna have to craft something. Uh, new craft has been added to your notebook. Press N to open the notebook and select crafting bookmark. That would be. Oh, that's a hand drill. Okay. We'll see to open the wheel and then choose crafting. There we go. Okay, things are happening. Um, Drag and drop. Let's go to here. So here's my machete. That's really cool. So I can only carry four things. Yeah. I got rope. I got sticks. That's kind of cool. We've got some leaves. This is, I actually really dig this. That's where our food would be if I had food. Drag and drop items onto the crafting table. Okay. Uh, let's go with um, leaves. And they decay in 12 hours. Look for another combination. Stone. Leaves of stone. Uh, sticks is probably. Let's go back to the notebook here real quick. So this is what I want to build, right? What can I? Oh, let's go. On... Okay, let's click. Okay, so we got fire there. There's the fire. Now a hand drill. Oh, I probably just want a large stick and a small stick, don't I? That's what I bet I'm looking for. Oops, wrong button. There we go, hand drill. There we go, perfect. Hmm. I need to find something dry. Need to find something dry. I know. Leaves, find tinder. Okay. Gonna swipe it left or right? I'm I'm unsure. Maybe it'll let me know. Uh, fire tools require tinder. Find something dry, such as a bird's nest, fiber, or some dry leaves. Okay. Bird's nest, fiber, dry leaves. 
Ah, right, here we go. Bird's nest. Perfect. Hold to take. All right, use the fire starting tool and tinder to make a fire. Use a hand drill. Open your backpack with tab. Use expand menu on a fire tool and select use. Okay, I'm gonna do that over here by the fire. Here. Expand. Use. Drag kindling from the backpack and drop it on the fire tool. This is so cool, man. <laughs> on top of the fire tool slot to start a fire. I think I can do that. Uh, where's the bird's nest? Okay. Is that what I wanted to do? Look, look, man. We made no... Okay. Where is... Where is... Oh, here it is. Okay. I want to put that there. Oh! Oh! Look at me! Place ember. Okay. Ignite. Oh, Bro, yeah. that is actually really the cool. fire is burning. Coming. Give me a minute. Day three. Made a fire on day two. It? Hmm? What? You seem so calm. With I Laura Croft. I don't know how to explain it, but strangely, it feels safer here than there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. A <laughs> mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. Let's reply. You're right. I'll miss you. I love it. Like, I'm just going to straight up leave her here. Is that the plan? Uh, oh. Yeah, hey. About to put the moves on. Watch this. <clears throat> I love, I love you. you, girl. If I had known where my ambition would lead us, if I knew it would put you in danger, I wouldn't have written that damn book. Yeah. And if everyone had that attitude, there would be no scientific progress whatsoever. Don't blame yourself. There might still be time to reverse the whole thing. And I love you too, Karinya. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Everything will Excuse be you. fine. Bless I you. need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, they don't seem to like you. They don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. Day three. She talked so long, it's the next day. Search the tent. Oh, a random stick on a cot. Okay. A note. I'm at village. Call me with the radio when you wake up. P.S. There's a little gift for you. Ha 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 ha. Mama, I love you. Work. Why did it? Okay, so it just changed. Okay. Hello, Mia. Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up? No. Where are you? I should reach the village shortly. Remember, if you see a totem, do not go any farther. Those are clear warnings. I know, I know. I read your book. Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me, that's all. <laughs> Admit it. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't. Oh. Pick up my gift. Oh, it's a watch. Ah, uh, it's got all my vitals on it. Oh, exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. And a macro element scanner. Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days, but stress can wear you out. Tell me. I want to wear that mask. Okay, so hold F to look at your smartwatch and check the status of your basic needs. Find something nutritious and eat it. So, um, 
It should tell me what each one of those is, right? Obviously, there's water. Oh, God. There's water and water and <laughs> and other things. Is this, like, going to be broken down into, like, proteins, carbs, and fats? If so, this is amazing, and I love it even more. Okay, I don't want to read all that stuff right now. I need to find something nutritious to eat. For reals, though, I, I saw a can of beans or something earlier. Right outside. That's probably where I need to go. Oh, here we go. How about a protein bar? Okay, so let's check our... Um, Handy dandy watch. Protein. Maybe it's the yellow or the red. <laughs> I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh, I took it when maybe I should have eaten it. Okay, so protein. Oh, it does, dude. So protein is red. Carbs is uh, yellow. And then that leaves green to be fats. That's actually really cool. I'm a fan of that. That's awesome, man. This just goes into more detail than... Most survival games, I think. Okay, so now it wants me to... F I, did I not just eat something nutritious? That's not... You wouldn't consider that nutritious? Considering all my nutrients are up? Uh, I really hate to eat another one. Like, the only thing I see is that the the fat still has... No, the, uh, the protein is still a little shy and the fats are still a little shy. So, oh, I don't want to eat another one in case this... Okay, well, that solves that. Let's go... <laughs> Let's go to here. Uh, let's expand and let's eat here. There we go. That must have done the trick. Well rested and well fed. Perfect. And keep it that way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. I'll try to take good care of it. Have you found them yet? See. Si. And as expected, they don't want to talk. They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. Mm-hmm. Agreed. That seems to be the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. That's a, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Brave girl. Thanks for the encouragement. Looks like I'm on my own. From now on, we can't get in touch so often as long as I remain in the village. Been thinking the same, but didn't want to say it. I really don't want to lose touch. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine and there is no need to worry. <sighs> All right. Let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I saw a few new specimen around here. Check the cork board. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Oh, so I do know, like, there's different... Like he was saying earlier, there's venomous state... Uh, st <laughs> venomous steaks, venomous snakes, jaguars, like, vi village people. Not the YMCA kind, but, like, people that live in the rainforest and stuff. Like, these people. Let's just go ahead and look. Oh, gosh. The biggest cat in the Americas. Stronger jaws than a lion. They can bite straight through the skull of their prey. What just made noise? Did y'all hear that? I'm pretending like I didn't. Hunts both in the forest and in the water. Nowhere is safe. Oh. Okay. Uh, it probably wants me to go for like a plant one, right? How about no? No. This? Tobacco plant. Leaves are great at healing venomous spiders. Or ven <laughs> what am I reading? Venom bites. But what else can it heal? I saw this plant on the north side of camp. After climbing on a rock, there's plenty. It's a good start. Okay, go north and find the tobacco plant. Does this have a compass on it? Okay, but then how the crap am I supposed to know where north is? I don't have a map. Also, how do I equip... Uh, how do I equip my machete? There we go. One is my fist. Two is machete. Which way is north? There's not even a sun, like, so that I can... Um, Reference. And I don't know what time of day it is. North. <laughs> this is kind of cool. You can like, oh, I'm so bored fighting you. I'm going to check my calories. I don't understand, though. Oh, which way is Dadgum North? Maybe we'll just walk this way. What is this? Unknown fruit. Let's take that. And 
There we go. North would be... Oh. We're just going to walk this way. Or maybe I can walk up that. Every time I hear a, no a noise, it scares the crap out of me. There's some kind of plants or something up there. Let's just walk up this. It said something about up a cliff, right? Unknown fruit. So there's a coconut. I wonder if like, oh, you can expand. What if you can like crack that thing? Oh, coconut water. And then you just take it. Oh, I see. Hey, maybe I actually walked the right way because here's like something to climb up a cliff, right? R block. I'm just, I feel like something's going to come. Something's going to happen. Climb on up the rope, shall we? Oh, I do not like that you can't look up. I want to know where I'm climbing to. Damn it. Oh, what happened? Oh, uh, fuck me. Oh. Scratch abrasion. Uh, excuse me, darling. I know we're not supposed to talk, but I got a boo-boo. Mia, I know I was supposed to not call, but a line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. 30 feet, bro. Yes, Mia, are, are you okay? I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit so they can't hear you. Let me know once you have checked yourself. Hold the C menu to open the will menu and then choose body inspection. Uh, body inspection. Body inspection. Oh, there we go. Inspect. Okay, so. Now what? Inspect your body. <laughs> okay. Look at the. Oh, oh no, my boo boo. Good. Okay. This is so cool, dude. This is really neat. The detail they get into with some of this stuff. Okay. Hey, it's just a little arm boo boo. No worries. No worries. Uh, it's it's all right. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. Do you remember how to do it? No. I can't say that I remember. Look for Molineria. It has uh, long leaves without any markings. And is surrounded by yellow flowers. Okay, I'll go look for it. You should have it in your notepad. Call me when you've treated your wound. Of course I will. New wound has been added to your notebook. Press in to open the notebook and select uh, the healing, which would be here. Okay. Uh, and it re affects, it reduces maximum condition on the macros, I guess. So known treatments. Nuts are the best sorts of fats. Okay, we know all this, right? Always drink safe or boiled water. Drinking unsafe water can lead to parasitic infection. That's not cool. Sanity. So you can have hallucinations if you lose your sanity. Consuming an item with a natural anti-stress component increases your sanity. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Scratch slash abrasion. Effect. Reduces condition. If untreated, it will become infected. Dressing covers up the wound, allowing it to heal and protect from infection. Addressing combined with a disinfectant substance will speed up the healing process. Okay. Check new craft added to your notebook. Now what? New craft was added to your notebook. Press in to open the notebook and, and the crafting. Okay. Well, that's kind of what I did, right? Notebook. Uh Oh, bandage. Okay. So Molinaria leaves. Find the Molinaria plant and get its leaves to craft a bandage in notepad. Plants bookmark. You can check how the plant looks like. So it looks like this. Little yellow flowers. Awesome. 
effects. Sanity, basic dressing, and then whatever the crap that is. Oh, what is making noise, man? All right, we're going to find this plant. Kill my little boo-boo. Here we go. Here's one. Do I just chop it? Cha-chow! Cha-chow! Do I need more? Let's take some nuts. <laughs> I'm a freaking 10 year old. Let's, uh, <laughs> is there more? Is there more? Okay, now it says create a bandage. So we would go back to crafting. Or no, I'm wrong. We'd go to the notebook and then we'd go to the crafting section and then there's bandage. Oh, okay. Damn gum. This is going to take me a while to get used to. So here's this. Craft. Let's put the uh, these leaves on here. Leaf bandage. Now bandage your wound. I bet if we expand. Nope, that ain't right. Uh, drag and drop item onto a crafting table. Well, how do I bandage my wound is basically what I want to know. Let's tab out of this and maybe it'll tell me. To use a bandage, open inspection backpack and drag item on your wound. Okay, so inspection is here. Backpack is here. Oh! Put this on my boo-boo. Good as new, man. Here I am, all wrapped up nicely. Does it hurt? Um, not no. much. I'm a man. Good. Hopefully, it will heal fast. So, how are you doing? <laughs> I'll be initiated in a few days. I am optimistic. I expect to be treated as one of their own after that, and I should be able to ask some questions then. Some elders are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on my side. Excuse me. Why are they opposed? I think... I think they were divided even before I joined them. The Chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully, but a few of the elders insisted on fighting. Now, the Jabahuaca basically have two factions. Sounds dangerous, Mia. Be careful. I'm not in any danger. Told you, I'm optimistic. And I'm optimistic that you're in danger. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Day Jake, 32. Please come in. Uh-oh. Jake, I need you here. Uh-oh. Jake, please. Please answer me. Mia? What happened? Mia, speak to me. Mia, what the hell's going on over there? Find Mia. Well, seems to me like that's a good thing to do next time, don't you guys think? <laughs> Cliffhanger! Can I even uh can I even save from here? Can you save from here? Options. Actually, dad gum, you guys might be in luck. Here we go. We're finding freaking Mia! Let's find us some Mia! Mama Mia! Oh, Pia! Okay, you've completed a tutorial, which is part of the story mode that will be available in full release. Uh, as this game is still in development, it features only a part of the Green Hell experience. Creepy Jar Team hopes you enjoy the game. Feel free to leave a comment on the Steam forum. Press space to continue in survival mode. Oh, okay. So that was just kind of a little glimpse into what's going on in the story mode. Now we are in survival mode. Oh, no, I don't even have a tent. I don't even have a daggum tent, man. I'm just... All right. Well, that certainly seems like a good place to leave it, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of it. I really like that it's got some really cool features that um, I haven't really seen in other survival games. Like inspecting yourself for these wounds. You know, uh, the crafting station. Like, Well, I guess with the, the backpack, all that UI stuff is really different. Uh, breaking it down to your caloric needs and stuff. I think it's really, really, really cool. And the game looks amazing. So... Let me know if you look forward to me doing more of this. I really, really want to play more. Um, so, you know, just leave me some comments. I'll make sure to answer you guys back. And until we meet again, woo! Hold on, let me, how my energy look. I can get a, pump, a couple punches in there. Area!